Hi guys, welcome back to Edward's channel. Uh, so today we will be discussing a different topic that is vaccination in case of coccidiosis. In very big farms and all, so people will be practicing coccidiosis vaccination because coccidiosis is a simple parasitic disease that will produce many economic problems in our farm. So we have to practice a simple vaccination technique for coccidiosis. So it is a parasitic disease actually which is causing the intestinal tract of animals and diarrhea, bloody diarrhea or the severe congestion of the intestinal arteries, vessels and all will be happening. So these are many coccidia species are affecting the poultry. So according to the predilection site, we can classify them into mainly nine types that is Azerbulina, Maxima, Mitis, Necadrix, Precox, Spinella, Brunetti, Hagandi, Nivati. So these are actually the places where they inhabit and they produce the lesions and the necrosis. So these are the pre-pattern period, this is the sporulation time. So the types of vaccination, actually we will be using the live vaccines, vaccines based on the precocious lines and the subunit maternal vaccine. So we will be dealing with all these things. So first one is the live vaccine. So in this category, there is mainly five vaccination that is coxivac b you can see the name that is coxidiosis vaccination yeah coxivac b a live coxidiosis vaccine for the broilers mainly the broiler chickens so it will be containing the live sporulated oocyst of imeria acervulina imeria mivati imeria maxima and imeria tinella this vaccination is actually used in case of one day age or older chicks Next is the Coxivac B, which mainly consists of the live oocyst of Azerulina, Vivati, Maxima, Tinella, and Ecatrix. And this one thing. So, next is the Coxivac B. So, vaccination for turkeys. So, you can relate it turkeys B. Yeah. So, it contains live spore related oocyst of Adenoides, Meliagrimitis, Gallopavonis. Next is the Immucox. So, Immuno C1, that is, it is an oral coccidiosis vaccine. Yeah, at least you will be mixing it with the water or the food or the gel delivery. Next is the immunocox C2, also oral vaccine. So next is the nobilis cox ATM. ATM signifies that is Acervolina tinella maxima. It contains strains from live vaccine strain from the Acervolina tinella maxima. Next is the vaccines based on the precocious lines. So it involves actually the production of a virulent strains by sequential selection of the parasites that is precocious selection and using a virulent strains. So there are maximum three that is Levacox T, Levacox D, and Paracox. So they are actually sometimes we use live attenuated vaccine that is stabilized the suspension, which is a virulent. So there is no need of anticoxidil in feed and it can be given at the five to nine days of. So whenever you are applying coccidiosis vaccine, you should never give the anticoxidil. So next is the subunit maternal vaccine. That is the coxabic is the first sub commercially available subunit vaccine against. So this will be containing actually the purified sexual stage that is the macrogametocytes antigens. Antigens from the macrogametocyte stage of the Imeria maxima. So what happens? Antibody will be produced against what? The macrocyte gap surface antigen of E maxima. So, it's a subunit vaccine and water in oil adjuvant vaccine indicated for vaccination in breeders in order to prevent again coccidiosis. So, these are some coccidiosis vaccines used in case of farms and all. This is Paracox, this is Levacox T. Thank you guys.